Dagata Bolognese, a small city with 7,300 inhabitants in the province of Bologna, actually has no special attractions to offer tourists. If it weren't for Lamborghini, the biggest employer, hardly any visitor would stay in Santa Gata. Yet thanks to the world-famous car maker, the town regularly welcomes the world's largest gathering of 12 cylinders. When parking spots fill with Lamborghinis like at a store with a big sale on, then a helicopter is necessary to keep track of the traffic. It's time to open up those scissor doors. Since the Countach, it's the privilege of the 12-cylinder cars at Lamborghini to solve the entrance into the tight-fitting interior by opening these extravagant doors. Normally only for the driver and front seat passenger, but at the big meeting at the Lambo factory also open for the unsatiable curiosity, which on such a day can be quenched with innumerable terabytes of electronic video recording equipment. Whenever Lamborghini drivers talk about their cars, talking shop is actually not the right way to describe such a conversation. These are expert conversations between people who drive cars with the only 12-cylinder engines, whose engine covers not only bear the model designation, but also communicate the ignition sequence of the dozen pots below. The dress code for a Lambo allows a wider variety of colors than any other sports car brand. That encourages the visitors to the meeting to collect their memories on video and gives rise to even more discussions. Buyers of the 2,903 Diablos made between 1990 and 2001 were particularly provoked to pursue their eccentric color wishes with every special metallic hue imaginable. No words are necessary to enjoy this scene. No later than the Countach came about, the design language changed between extravagant and provocative. Nothing was taboo, even if awfully tasteless. Domes and air scoops like the openings to subway tunnels, exhaust pipes made more for a dragster, or wings big enough to lift a stealth bomber into the sky. If the Lambos of those days had been styled after women, then probably Ciccolina would have won out over Lady Di. Amidst the M&M colored eye candy, you could also feed your eyes on rare and exotic Lambo specimens. A Miura SVR, for instance, or the rare V12 coupes from the 70s, the Yarama and Espada. What the multitude of Lambos competing for the most prominent yet allocated parking spaces all have in common? The impeccable care they've received from their owners. Not only technically in perfect order, you can be sure there's not one speck of visible imperfection on any of these cars. Since the Gallardo came onto the scene, the 10-cylinder cars also moved into the limelight. Female Lambo fans were rarely ill-reputed as overachievers in their group. As extravagant as the body of a Lambo might be, beneath its cloak the old monarch of drivetrain engineering proudly reigns. Indispensable for the driving pleasure and the feeling with a Lamborghini not only to drive a super sports car, but also to instill a very special joie de vivre. 
With its production facilities and refined museum, the factory is a prime setting for the big meeting of Lambo fans. But also because, in their hearts, Italians seem to know how to eliminate any feelings of envy. Even if they don't own a Lambo and have to make do with sitting along the sidelines, just watching this pompous parade of race cars go by is thrilling enough. Anyone who claims they're perfectly informed about such an exclusive couple hundred Lamborghinis knows how to really take off. <laughs> 